Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to look at battery health and calculating the degradation of the battery. A lot of people when looking at their car want to know how healthy the battery is or if you're looking to buy one you want to make sure that the car you have is a healthy car and not rapidly becoming a brick. You can buy specialist cables and plug into the cars and read the individual cells but that's beyond most people's ability. There is a way though by using some simple values plucked off the screen in the car that gives you a pretty good approximation to the current battery level. Within the car, call it the energy screen and you need three pieces of information. One of which is the average consumption, over 30 miles in our case, the projected range and the state of charge of the battery in percent. If you take those figures uh, for our Model Y, we can see we've got an average consumption of 415 watts per mile and a projected range of 154 miles. If you multiply those two together, it's telling you how many kilowatt hours are currently in the battery. If you divide through by the battery level which as a percentage, you'll see it's telling us the usable capacity of the battery is currently about 77 kilowatt hours. Given the car is a 2022 Model Y long range, that's probably about right. You can visit the Tesla Info webpage and we've got a list of usable battery capacities, especially for some of the older models displayed against which you can compare your car capacity. We mentioned some of the newer cars don't give that information, so you can do it a second way, which is by passing the Tesla token to us and we will read some specific values via the API which we can use in the calculation. We've just copied in a token for our car, pressing submit and we've returned some values. This method works slightly differently by calculating the rated efficiency using the amount of energy added and the number of miles added during the last charge. It can then extrapolate from the range the car is showing and the current percentage to work out the usable battery capacity of the car. Um, because we have a lot of cars in the database with this method, we can actually do the query against cars reporting the same model, trim, wheel size and efficiency profile and we can give you a comparison. And we can see that in our case the car is about one and a half kilowatt hours below the average. So given we have about a one and a half kilowatt hour difference between the different methods and the average, it's worth just reflecting on how accurate these methods are. And one or two kilowatt hours isn't really significant as it can vary depending on temperature. A cooler battery will hold less energy or have available less energy. Um, the BMS calibration could be slightly out and also the cells may need balancing. So treat it more as an approximation and trend over time so you can see how your car might change from one week to the next but don't worry too much if your car appears to be one or two kilowatt hours down below an average. If you want a really accurate way of doing it then Tesla within the service menu have the ability to do a health check. Using the hidden service mode though is not something we'd recommend and it also takes 24 hours so it's not something in practice most people are going to do, certainly not when looking at a used car. So in summary, the two methods we've described give you a pretty good approximation, although not 100% accurate, and will help tell you whether the car you've got is heading to be a brick or is actually in a pretty good state of affairs. Um, if you want more information, then head over to Tesla Info where we have the two guides in detail. And if you like our content, then feel free to subscribe to our channel and like this video. See you next time.